Hi guys, I'm going to be talking to you about something called doggy ice cream, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard about, but not necessarily dared to try it. This is the first time I've tried doggy ice cream as well. Um, and when I say I've tried it, I literally mean I've tried it. This doggy ice cream comes in this cute little container. It's called Waggy Zone. It says mango frozen yogurt. And the side of the container has all this information on it. One of the pieces of information is the dog saying, Finally, I have my own dessert with no added sugar and artificial color. So before I get into the ingredients and how healthy this actually is, I'm going to share with you my personal experience. So first of all, I gave it to my dogs. I have three dogs and one of them didn't even stay to sniff it more than once. The other one, who was literally a walking garbage can, came back and sniffed it three or four times. And the third one, who was very fussy about food, sniffed it a couple of times and then had a bad reaction to it. So I decided to taste it myself to see what the problem was. I'm going to do that in front of you for you to see what it actually tastes like. It basically tastes like rotten jaggery with a little extra sugar in it. Anyway, getting to the ingredients, the ingredients say curd, skimmed milk powder, honey, mango, dextrose, stabilizer E415, and permitted synthetic essence. First of all, this is being marketed as a health food for dogs. So, okay, curd I can understand. Of course, I would like for it to have been organic curd, but we can't rely on someone to always give us that. So I'll let that slide. Then there's skimmed milk powder. Why do we have to use milk powder? Why not just plain skim milk? If we have real curd, then real skim milk shouldn't be a problem. Don't we usually use powdered milk when we're trying to find a shortcut to something? Then there's honey, which again, I don't think I can dispute. Mango. Mango I can definitely dispute. This does not taste like mango at all. The only thing that resembles mango is the color, which as you can see is orange. I see no mango pieces, there's no trace of mango flavoring anywhere. Then there's dextrose. Dextrose is a type of sugar which is often interchanged with glucose. First of all, sugar is sugar. Secondly, dextrose is often used by manufacturers to mask the fact that glucose exists in the product. This way they can say that it's sugar free or it has no sugar. So I think that's so deceitful in itself. Next we get to Stabilizer E415. Stabilizer E415 is a stabilizer and a thickening agent, which is often used in foods. It, first of all, the fact that it's an additive is a problem for me, but more importantly, there have been health concerns related to this. So I don't think it's really optimal. Finally, it says permitted synthetic essence. Why do, why do we need to include that? I mean, synthetic essences are usually used to enhance taste and smell, which obviously this, this does. 